What's up, folks? Hey, welcome back to the channel, Fishing by the Numbers. It's your boy, Will. Guys, today I'm back out here on the lake looking to chase these crappie. I'm out here just trying to get some of this spawning action. Last time I was out here, I caught a bunch of big, giant slap crappie, folks. Females full of eggs, ready to drop. Some that were actually already spawned out. Didn't really catch a bunch of male crappies on that last trip, but who knows what might happen today, folks. Nonetheless, I'm out here on the water, about to get started. Folks, hey, stick around and stay tuned, and I'll see you when I get on these fish. Let's get it. All right, folks, we are ready to go. I am at my first spot. See a couple of fish down here. Rocking with the eight foot ACC with the Cast King Speed Demon. I'm going with the magic bait again today, folks. Still haven't changed it from last time. It's that clear body, black and silver flake with the black tail. I got that paired up with the one thirty second ounce jig head on a sickle hook that came from Limits Tackles. Got him. Slab. Y'all, the first fish is the size of a bass. Look at this. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, y'all. This might be the biggest crappie I ever caught. Y'all look at this. Oh my Lord. Lord Jesus. Y'all look at that. That's the biggest crappie I ever caught right there. I'm sure of it. Well, we're gonna measure this fish. We gonna measure this fish, y'all. Goodness gracious, y'all. Oh, oh my God. Y'all, that's a giant crappie. It's a giant crappie. Oh. Big 15 inch fish right there, folks. Lake Houston slab, baby. <laughs> oh my goodness, y'all. Oh, first fish. That's all you can ask for. It's just a slab crappie on your first fish. It's gotta be a pound and a half, almost a two pound fish, y'all. He going in the box. I think I'm drifting too far away from it. Uh, the pains of fishing with live scope from a kayak, y'all. This is just a part of it. You think you got a fish lined up, you try to go get him, and all of a sudden, he's gone. Good thing is, is now I'm at this spot where I see some good fish. I just gotta get on them. That's the hardest part. Figuring out where the wind is coming from, and how you gonna fish it. On a day like today, it's very windy. I see some hogs deep in this structure right here, y'all. Oh, there's some good crappie in there. Let's see if we can get to them. It's a good one, kind of up here at the top. If we can get to them, we might have action. Got one coming. Got them. That's another slab, folks. That's another slab crappie. And he is fighting pretty hard too. Get over here, buddy. Get over here, buddy. He ain't as big as the first one, but that's another hog, y'all. Another nice fish. Probably about a 12 incher, and he fell off in the net. That's a nice 11 and a half, almost 12 inch fish, folks. Good enough to eat. Going in the box. Got him. Another good crappie. Which is down there at the bottom, y'all. He was just hanging out down there at the bottom. I was able to shake it in there enough to get his attention and get him out. Good fish going in the box.
Oh my God, y'all. Another giant slab crappie. Top lip. Oh, flip. <laughs> oh. Yeah, he got a little wound on him. I might have hit him. Got him stabbed on the way up. Good fish, folks. I'm going in the box. Yep, those are not crappie. This might be right here. Those are definitely crappie on the back side right up here. Got him up out of there. That's a big one too. Another giant. I could probably flip that fish, y'all, but that is a giant crappie. Oh, oh, oh that's a heavy one. Oh, that's a giant, y'all. That's a giant. I don't know if it's as big as that other one. That's a big, heavy fish. There we go, folks. Another big old slab crappie. It's a good 13 and a half, almost 14 inch fish right there, folks. It's a big one. Going in the box. Number nine. Had that guy lined up. He uh swam right by him. He didn't even touch it. So let's try him again. I may have been too far away from him. But now, we're right on him. He just saw it and he just hit it. And I think it's a giant crappie. Oh, it ain't a giant, but it's a good one. It's a good keeper. Real good keeper fish. Just another good 11 in the box. That should be number 11. Got him. Another slab. Here we go, folks. Just another good crappie. 11 inch fish going in the box. Number 12. Got him. Guys, that might be another big one. Yep. We'll flip him up. Another good fish, folks. Look at that. Just a good fish. Number 12. Got him. Another good crappie, y'all. That's a real big crappie. Flip them up. Oh, yeah. Both flipping big slabs, y'all. Look at this. Both flipping big slabs, baby. Look at the mouth on that joker. Good fish, y'all. Going in the box. came and bumped it and took off. Let's try this one. Got him that time. 
Get up here, big black crappie. Oh, oh, he barely hooked. Oh, we got him. Good black crappie. Yeah. I'm telling you, I do work with this thing, man. Yeah. I don't. Ooh, that might be a good one. Yes, it is. Down his throat. <sighs> I want to flip him, but I ain't gonna be crazy. Oh, it's down his throat. Way, way down there. Huh? I said it's way down his throat. I just feel like I catch more quality fish and it's easier to target them too. It's not a bad one. Yes, it is. Just a good thick fish. <laughs> yeah, no, nah, he ten. Um, but I usually don't keep tens, man. I usually throw them back. Yeah, that's a good fish. I got so much fish at the house that if they ain't 11, 12 or better, <laughs> I'm throwing them back. What's up, folks? All right, so during the video, I didn't tell you guys that I was going to be doing a catch, clean, and cook, but guess what? Surprise! <laughs> hey, folks, so nothing too challenging today. All I'm going to be doing is frying up a little bit of crappie today. And I'm gonna show y'all how I do it. So in most cases, I like to use Louisiana fish fry, but guess what? I went and looked in my pantry and I didn't see any Louisiana fish fry. So one way that my grandmother used to make them and my dad makes them still to this day is just with cornmeal, salt, and pepper. Now you can do it that way. And I was thinking about doing it that way, but honestly, I like a little bit of spice with mine. So I like to add a little bit of Cajun seasoning black pepper and some cayenne pepper just to give it a little more of, of, of a spice to it. In addition to that, I also like to add a little bit of garlic powder and onion powder to my cornmeal. So guys, I've already got that prepped up. So let me get y'all, let me let y'all take a shot at this. All right, so here's my mix. Right here. Get a good shot of that. Like I said, all I used was garlic powder onion powder, cayenne pepper, some salt. Love that pink salt, you guys. Pepper, black pepper, and boom, Cajun seasoning. And like I said, in this house, y'all, we use Tony Satry's because that's what we like. Got my grease over here already going. Got that preheating. Got that at six. Got that at six, y'all. And then here's my fish. All cleaned up, looking real good. I think I got seven or eight fillets in there. All pretty good sized fish, y'all. So those are gonna be some real nice thick fillets. And in addition to that, I'm gonna be eating this with some sweet potato fries, y'all. Non-GMO Alexia's waffle cut sweet potato fries, and they are seasoned. They got a little hint of spice to them. Those are pretty good. I actually really like those. But that's what it is today, folks. 
So like I said, all I'm gonna do is fry some up. I'm not doing anything too fancy, but I'll let y'all get a shot of me in action cooking these fish up. So one other thing that I forgot to mention is the type of oil that I like to use when I'm frying fish. I typically like to use peanut oil or cottonseed oil. Now, I do have a little bit of experience in the restaurant industry and one of the places I used to work at, actually two of the places, their fried foods are usually very golden brown, nice and crispy, and that's because they use cottonseed oil. Now, cottonseed oil typically produces some of the nicest and crispiest fish fillets out there, but peanut oil is a very good alternative, and it's probably gonna be second on the list when it comes to frying food, at least for me. So that's what I'm using, guys, so go ahead, check it out, here we go. This is what I'm using. All right, folks. Well, we about to go ahead and get cooking. I think my grease is pretty much hot. My oven is on 425. And now it's time to get the fries in the oven. Those are probably gonna take about 18 to 22 minutes. And then my fish to cook all eight of these fillets is probably gonna take me about 15 minutes or something like that. So let me go ahead and get started, folks. So I got everything set up here. Got my fish right here. Got my cornmeal and got my grease, my peanut oil right there, ready to go. So I think at this point, I'm gonna go ahead and get started with dipping my fish inside of my seasoning and then at putting it right in the grease. Now I'm, I'm gonna do one filet first, just kind of as a test run to make sure my grease is at the correct temperature. So let's go ahead and get that going first. First filet going down. Slide this on here and give it a nice little shake. Get it nice and evenly coated. All right, folks, and there it is. That's what it's looking like. So let's go ahead and get that in the grease. Oh yeah. It's got a nice little rolling boil going right there. When you see it rolling like that, you know you're good. You know you're cooking with hot grease. Now folks, whenever I fry my crappie, I like to let it sit in the grease for about two to three minutes. That's all you need when it comes to crappie. It is such a delicate white fish that it is very easy to overcook. And once you overcook it, the edges become real rubbery, real chewy. Um, the center is still usually good, but the edges just aren't great. So I usually just leave it in there about two to three minutes. That is all you need for crappie. So let's take a look at it, folks. And this is a shallow fry too. It's not really a deep fry. So we'll go ahead and get some tongs and flip that over. It's been about a minute already. There we go. I think we, I think we're good. I believe we are good, folks. So usually, so usually what I'm looking for whenever I put in my test piece is to see if it starts to brown too fast. And I don't think we're having that problem. So that tells me that my grease is at a really good temperature. Um, like I said, I had it on six, which is about medium high heat. Um, so everything's looking good so far, folks. Let's give her another flip. It's looking good, folks. That'll be ready to come out of this grease in about another minute or so. So let me go ahead and get my pan prepped. All right, y'all, I think this filet is pretty much done. Pull that bad boy right out the grease. Look at it, nice golden brown color already. 
Now I'm telling you guys, crappie does not take very long at all to cook. Mm, it looks pretty good. It's really good actually. So we'll go ahead and get that over here. We'll let that hang tight for a little bit. We'll go ahead and get a couple of other fillets. So we know our grease is at the right temperature. Y'all look at those fillets. Can't tell me that wasn't a slab crappie right there. Can't tell me that wasn't a slab. Absolute slab crappie. Look at that. Guys, these are some big crappie fillets. Look at that. Beautiful fillets. How many do we have left in here? I think we got, okay. Looks like there's just three more in there, folks. So I think we got seven fillets total. So I'll go ahead and get these shaken up and in the grease. Shake, 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 a little shake, shake. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Swirl it, swirl it. I'm just doing too much, y'all. I'm doing too much now. Oh, way too much. Let's look at it. Let's see. check it out. All right. There we go. There we go. Here's what it's looking like. After getting shaked up. It looks pretty nicely coated to me. We'll go ahead and start laying these bad boys in the grease. Big slab crop, folks. Another one. And the grease. And here's our third one. Shake off the excess and into the grease. Boom. Good to go. I'm gonna move these a little bit. That one can get in there, you get fully submerged as well. All right, we're good, y'all. And frying in a shallow pan like that, I mean, I let them fry about a minute to a minute and a half on both sides. We're gonna let that do what it do. So it's been about three minutes. I actually let these stay a little bit longer, about four minutes, just because these are some pretty thick fillets, as y'all can see. So I wanna give them a chance to cook all the way through, which I'm sure they could have done that in just about the same amount of time as I usually cook them. But you know, it's all good. As long as it's not too rubbery on the edges, I think we'll be fine, which I think we are. So, got these nice three fillets out of the grease. One other thing that I like to do when I hit, pull them straight out the grease is hit them with a little seasoning, a little extra seasoning. Um, and in this case, the pink salt, guys. Pink salt, really like this stuff. So, if you are gonna use a salt, if you are gonna use salt, make sure you use a really good quality salt. And that's what this Himalayan pink salt is. So I'm not even gonna twist it. I'm just gonna shake what's in there to get it on there. So without twisting it, not a lot came out, but just enough came out to give it a little extra saltiness. All right, folks, so our sweet potato fries are done. So I'm gonna go ahead and get those out of the oven. Oh yeah, 
looking pretty good, folks. Looking pretty good. I'd say those are done. There we go. There's our fries. Here's our fish. And then here's what's still cooking. So, folks, let me go ahead and continue. And as soon as I'm done, I'll catch y'all at the table. Woo, all right, folks. So, I am at the table, and it is time for the moment of truth. Here's the plate. Here's what everything's looking like. Got the fish, got the sweet potato fries over there. Guys, let me go ahead and dig into it. First of all, you can see, look how that's just breaking apart. I cooked that just right. But that's hot. That's real hot. I'm almost scared to take a bite right now because I think it might burn my tongue, but you know what? It goes nothing. Mm. Woo! It's hot. But it's fire. Oh, y'all. This is fire. I'll tell you right now. Fried fish is one of my favorite ways to have it. Probably the least healthy way, but it is my favorite way to eat fish. Guys, this is good. These sweet potato fries too. I don't know if y'all have ever had these. These are good too. Got just a little bit of spice to them, but that's it. Really good folks. And this fish is so good. This fish is so good that I don't even need ketchup or hot sauce. I have it, but I don't need it. I eat it just like this. Mm. So good, y'all. So good. Well, folks, all I'm gonna do now is I'm about to slap on this food. So, y'all, once again, as always, I greatly appreciate you guys for checking out the video. Greatly appreciate all the support. The feedback has been great. The subs have been going way up because you guys are showing up and showing out for your boy. Hey, and look, I really appreciate that. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give it a like for me. Feel free to drop comments. Y'all know I get active in the comment section. Hey, folks, until the next one. Peace. Peace.